I got a special guest here today. Jordan Pauline, the Guyanese pop princess. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? New single, uh, Nobody Out Now. Man, yeah. it's so great to have you on the show. Um, uh, for all the people who are, who, are, who are watching this at home, give everybody a little background about how you got started in music, how you got started with all this, you know, writing and everything. Um, well, I got my start by writing and writing for Disney Channel and Nickelodeon and writing for like my mom's artists. Mm -hmm. And they used to just demo the songs. Um, and then ever since about two years ago, I kicked off my very first single and I've just been pushing myself ever since then as an artist. Yo, I think it's so cool that you used to write for Disney Channel because obviously, you know, in your bio, we talked a little bit before the interview started. You you wrote for like Ant Farm, Shake It Up, and you've also done stuff for uh, for Love and Hip Hop, America's ne Next Top Model, etc. Um, what was your experience like? I guess with like Disney Channel because I know everybody has like a different experience. I've spoken to a few people before who who've worked with them. You know, some positive, some negative. But what was like your experience uh, working on the channel? Um, it was. Now I'm looking back on it, it's a it was a lit experience. <laughs> um, I feel like I could have been taken care of more from the experience, but it was lit. It was some as a time, you know, it was a step, and I'm very grateful for it. And um, I didn't see anything wrong with it. I thought it was just like I don't know. They're really cool people over there. So. So what exact exactly did you do on these shows? You like wrote for them? Uh, I'm assuming it was music, right? Yeah, it was the music, like so, the song that like they were dancing to and like singing and stuff, like literally. That's pretty dope. Like especially like at, at being younger, like you seeing your your work on TV and kind of like I don't know, seeing and, and millions of people being exposed to the things that you're doing at the same time. Yeah, literally. And now I don't even like. I can't even explain it. Like, I can't explain it. It's just I don't know. It's just, it's a time that I'm grateful mm. for, but it's also like, now I'm ready to show y'all that it's like, I'm really that nigga. Right. It's like, it's like, yo, like, yo, like we're past the Disney channel phase now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're like, you're like, I'm ready to kind of like leave that behind and, and, and be an artist now. Mm -hmm. So you're working with a lot of really dope people on music. You know what I'm saying? Like a few names are just uh, Brian Bates, uh, Hip Boy. Um, so what are, what are some of the things that you've been working on lately to kind of like, you know, obviously put all that writing stuff behind you and focus on being an artist now okay even though as much as i would love to just focus on being an artist i still get the phone calls to come pull up to <laughs> such and such writing session and this person's session so i'm still doing my writing you know but i'm very I'm very minimal I'm more you gotta still chase the bag you know what i'm saying if the, yeah. if, if the phone rings and it's like all right we got some bread for you you gotta take it yeah i'm gonna go pull up but um yeah it's very like more so just like exclusive right now i'm just making sure i'm not giving my her, like my swagger and style to just any and everybody right now. Right, you're saving your best work for yourself. Yeah, I gotta cultivate and push me. And then once I'll be like, all right, cool, I'll come and fuck with y'all over here and do all that. But um, yeah, like I've been I've been uh, working with Brian Bates. He just got uh, half of Ariana Grande's new album. And um, I was working with her for a while too. And uh, oh, that's the, the, you said that so modestly, like, oh, I was working with Ariana Grande a little bit too. <laughs> did you, you yeah. did some some writing on on uh, on her new project, or you were just kind of like in the room? Um, or? I was just, I'm the mega mind behind it. Uh, I put a lot of plays together for it. Like I said, I like Ariana and I were cool. I love her, she's an amazing artist. Um, but like I said, I, I'm cultivating who Jordan Pauline is. If I would have wrote, they wanted me on the album, if I would have wrote for her album, I would have gave her my sound and what I'm doing. So I would have like, you know, kind of fumbled my bag on that. Right, album. so you have like a hand in it, but you like, like we said before, you didn't give like the keys to the kingdom away. Yeah, no. That's still yeah. very, that's still very dope that you, that you have like all these credits to your name though. Mm-hmm. So, then, no, go ahead, finish what you're gonna say. No, 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 it's just the super, super low key. It's just like, people are like, oh wow, you did that? And I'm just like living my life day to day. You know, I think that's so interesting. And, uh, you know, when it comes to like the world of like writers, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys are just so like nonchalant about it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you're like, oh yeah, I did this. I did this and, <laughs> and you know, whatever. But like, it's actually a very major accomplishment and very dope at the same time. Thank you. 
So what what has like you know when it comes to music and, and working with like these people you know like Hit Boy like what has been like some of like the best advice that you've been given from them or like the best gems or anything like like that? Um, just to keep going, you know, mm-hmm. like there was times like being young, especially in the industry, could be so like disheartening sometimes. You see, like I've experienced so many people's success, you know, so many people, and it just like being in that field could kind of like take away from you. Mm-hmm. And I used to always be like, people used to always be like, keep going, just keep going, you're talented, just keep going. And that actually like now that like was really just like a stamp that I felt like I needed. And now I'm just like living my life with that. So I would say just keep going and just like, shit, fuck the naysayers. Like I got a lot of that. Um, what else is some good advice I've been told? Nobody want to get left behind. So it's just like, mm. people just keep working and we're doing you. Nobody's going to want to get left behind. You might get a note to today, but you might get a yes tomorrow. So it's just like, once you're working on you and cultivating you and making sure your foundation is strong, mm-hmm. nobody's going to get left behind. They just going to come to you. Don't chase, though. Start attracting. No, so. that's amazing. I, I love that advice. So now, like, when we go into the music a little bit, so you've been dropping a lot of singles, you know, for the past, like, year, year and a half or so. Um so I'm assuming like these singles are leading up to something bigger, something, something grand, a project, an EP. So talk to me about like, I don't know, just dropping all these singles, I guess, focusing on the single game right now and, and what, what you're building up to. Mm, like I have so much music, like <laughs> thousands upon thousands of songs. So me, I'm very hard on myself. Like I like to just sit, my mom be like, this does owe to you. I mean, it's all to everybody else. So just make sure you drop it and just like, fact. But like, I have so much music. So I wanted to just like, I gave a lot of people like test, like teasers and just a little taste of who mm-hmm. I am, but the body of project, like the album and EP, what I'm about to drop next, I feel like people are really going to get a gist of who I am. I have the trap pop Guyanese artist. Um, yeah. That. Did you just say trap pop Guyanese artist? That, 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 I want to make sure I, that's such like an interesting way to define yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much like there's so much in there. It's like you're combining like three kind of like different uh, different styles of, of music. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Just, no, no. But um, yeah, I'm about to drop two more songs than the EP. After these two songs, no more singles. This is going to be the EP. You know, I'm going to have to the EP for a minute. You look like you're sick of dropping singles. Like I saw it in your face. You're like, oh man, you're like, I, I'm tired of this. <laughs> kind of not. No, I'm actually very grateful for it. Cause like the more songs I drop, the more recognition I'm getting, mm-hmm. you know? People are like, oh, she just still working. She's, oh, she's not going away. It's just not a one song thing. Like, no, I got them in the vault and they coming out. Like, like I said, I got thousands of songs. So like, yeah. <laughs> so with this new EP, what can people expect from this new EP? Like, are you going to have features on there? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be just you? Or is it going to be, you know, like, what are you doing with it? Okay, so um, I have features that's in the work that's going to come out. But I wanted to stamp myself as Jordan Pauline first with just me, you know. And then next, I'm going to drop another song with this very special artist after the EP. Oh, okay. And, you know, some remixes and stuff and then i'm gonna play and then the album's gonna have like features of course and all that good stuff but i feel like features are just kind of a cheat code so i'm just gonna like oh okay i like i like that I, no no talk your shit features are a cheat code i like that code, you know so i don't be like okay i fuck with her for her like not because uh what's the name is on the song you know like Right. And you want to, and you want if you do a feature you want people to like be genuinely like wanting to work with you you know what i'm saying exactly i talked exactly. to there's this dude i talked to a few weeks ago his name is ruchi he's a rapper out of california and and what he always and what he told me is he only works with his homies because um he told me he hates rappers and he hates rappers because he said the same thing you do he said he feels like features are a cheat code to to success and he, what he does is he wants to make sure that his people come up um before you know before and he wants his connections and, and records to be genuine and not just like oh here's a couple racks let's get on the song together no he wants things to like be because they want to like they want to fuck with you you know exactly exactly and now everybody's just coming to me i used to want to i used to like chase certain artists down like yo listen hear me out like, <laughs> now that i'm saying people like hit 
texting me, he texted me. Oh, yo, I need you on the song, come pull up. Da, 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 da. So it's just like, you got to change the dynamic, the energy around, you know. You Yourself. You're the prize. And, you know, have an artist. Nah, I love that. I love that. And I definitely think it's, it's cool that you'll like do songs with people, but like make them remixes after. So it's still like you and your EP is still all about you. It's just that you might give people a little taste of something else like after the fact. And I think that that itself is just like, I don't know. I feel like that's like the best, smartest way to go about it because it's, it's you. And then if, if, if you feel the need to, to put somebody on a remix of a record, then it's, you know, it's still a separate entity from that EP. You know, it doesn't take away from you. Exactly. And yo, so with this EP, you got some visuals coming out. Like what else, what else are we doing with this EP? Is it coming out before the end of 2020, 2021? It's going to be out in December. I have a very special surprise coming out as well in December. Um, so like I wanted to make sure I have like more so when I drop, niggas mm -hmm. know I'll drop, you know? That's why I'm making sure these next two videos I put out the momentum and the whole PS5 wave. Ironically, I didn't even know they were this popular. Everybody's like going crazy over it on my Instagram right now. <laughs> but like now, like little stuff like that is just making the whole momentum and wave way bigger. And um, yeah, it's gonna be on December for sure. Like I have it finished it's in the mixing process. You know, I'm you know adding and subtracting. I'm in the studio tonight. So I might even make, add two more songs to take away another two. We don't know, but it's gonna be out in December. Man, this is that's super exciting, and I'm looking forward to it. And something else that I read about you that I really love is you're part of this uh this like initiative called uh, Aware, right? Yeah, for HIV and AIDS to just make the youth and LGBT community more aware that we're still in a generation where we're still alive and active. We're just practicing safe sex at home for individuals to come to for counseling and you know um, medications and all the stuff that not everybody's fortunate to have. And a lot of people are battling this disease and are alone. Sorry, my background. No, they wallet, down. they wallet. Hold on, give it a second, give it a second. Wait till it slows down and then you can keep going. Cause I can just edit it, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Okay. I think you won't, I think, I think you're safe. <laughs> oh wait, maybe not. No, downtown is so active. I literally live right across the street from the Stable Center. Really? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And it's always like this? Yeah. Right. New York is like a ghost town now. Well, not, not too much of a ghost town, but it's like, it's like, it's because of COVID, everything's like shut down mm -hmm. and everything's so quiet. I, no, it looks super sad out there, like Gotham City. And now it's cold. It's, yeah, like Gotham, that's exactly, oh, mad homeless people <laughs> everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but just for, you know, the youth and children mm -hmm. and people that's battling it, you know, um, practice safe sex. It's still here. Please be responsible as a young adult and as a child, because kids are and older people. Just please be safe. Wrap it up and yeah. <laughs> I love that you're part of this initiative because like it's, it's such like a it's such like a like an important thing for to conversations to have, especially like you know you mentioned like with kids and especially you know kids in in high school. You know, and I think it's cool that like you and other artists have like come together to kind of uh, be a voice to educate the youth because like you know they don't really always teach this type of stuff in school not at all and kids and we're so social media influenced and the music we listen to is just very lawless we just and a lot of kids that probably don't even have the proper home training the mm -hmm. proper you know family to even mm -hmm. talk to them about these things are a lot like blinded in this world and it could be scary and they don't know what to do and um well, just a place for them to come talk to and know that yes, this is real, this can happen, but you know, still live your life and be safe. Man, I love that, I love that. So what else you got coming out that the people gotta know about? Uh, obviously we got the new singles coming out, we got the EP coming out in December, some visuals, some very special surprises. Do you have anything else that's going on that, you know, uh, you know, music wise, writing wise, anything that the people gotta know about that, that's coming up in your uh, life? A couple movie soundtracks I'm working on. Whoa, okay, that's very dope. Yeah. Um, TV show. I'm in a show right now. I can't really talk about it, but that's gonna be out soon. It's. A, I'm assuming it's like a pilot, or it's like it's, yeah. it's, it's in did, production. Did, we did two, three episodes already. Wow! Congrats. Yeah, and then we kind of post production, but production picked back up, so we should be filming pretty soon again. I don't know. Waiting on my agency, but um, that's Netflix. And nice. <laughs> uh, Shit, yeah, shit. Music, merch, merchandise is coming out. Look out for that. I'm gonna have make sure I have the hardest merch. 
I'm in the you. game. Yeah, I'm saying you son. Bundles and everything. We gotta have all that. Like you gotta and have like everything. You know, my oh, I didn't mean hair bundles. I meant like I meant like bundles with the music. <laughs> I realized after I said it, I was like, oh, shit, she might, she might think I'm talking about hair. Yeah, no, I'm going to have that, too. Yeah. I love that. Let the people know where they can follow you at, where they can stream your music. Um, obviously, new the new single, Nobody Out Now, that's the last single you dropped. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Plug everything in. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Jordan Pauline, J-O-U-R-D-I-N, Pauline. And Twitter is the same, J-O-U-R-D-I-N, Pauline www.jordanpauline.com for merchandise and shows and virtual shows, updates and everything, new videos, exclusive pictures, not only fan pictures, but photo <laughs> pictures and, you know, cool pictures, posters and everything. Um, site should be up in a week. Mm, I'm everywhere. You have no excuse not to stream me. Make sure you tell your auntie, your cousins, your um, brother, your sister, everybody, you know. Everybody in your family, go run up those, go run up them streams right now. Please. 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 Man, there it is. Jordan Pauline on the radar. I appreciate you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for having me.